Hello and welcome. Today we're doing uh, mechanics, uh, circular motion in a vertical circle. Um, it's in further mechanics, not on straight maths mechanics. Um, so in mechanics, I don't want to read all of this. It's just absolutely pointless. Um, very little will go in. So read to understand what the, the question is all about and move into the relevant diagram and start putting the information into your picture. So what the hell is that now? It's not cleaning. Let's have a look. Sorry, I do apologize. Green pen doesn't want to rub off. Okay, so one end of a light inextensible string is attached to a fixed point O. The other end is attached to a particle. Initially, the particle is hanging in equilibrium vertically below O with a string taut. So here's the O. And here is the bottom of the string. There's the particle. That's all the information we have. It's in equilibrium. An impulse sets the particle in motion with a horizontal speed of 8.4. So I'm gonna mark the speed here. Usually that's the initial speed. So I'm gonna mark it also as U, meters per second which consequently traces part of a vertical circle, part, so it doesn't go all the way around. So at some point the, the string becomes slack. So in fact, you should mark that the string there. So some, that it would be a full circle, of course, or an egg as I'm drawing it. <coughs> and it says the string becomes slack, slack, means tension is zero and this happens when the v is 3.5 so for this <clears throat> now the question says determine how long is the string <coughs> okay um o a and this is an arbitrary position a random position in the motion where the string is taut, is not slack, call it position B. And uh, let's mark lengths, L and L, unknown and to be found. In this position where I'm gonna be doing dynamics, I'm gonna mark forces. That's the tension, that's the weight. And uh, this, position is at an angle theta measured from the bottom and uh, if I extend that radial direction this is also theta and two more things to be marked in the picture in this position here this is the velocity or speed tangential speed and this is the acceleration, R double dot. And uh, of course, the acceleration is outwards. R is increasing in this direction. Therefore, R dot, R double dot will be in this direction here. However, of course, for those who have seen my video in polar coordinates, R double dot is of course minus V squared over R. So when you're replacing that, you'll be replacing with the negative of this. <coughs> okay, what do you do in this kind of problems? It's a standard two equation problem. One is energies and the other one is the radial equation of motion. The energy equation is another equation of motion if you differentiate it or if you know how what's the acceleration in a tangential direction, you can still solve the problem. It's just that if you do that, it's actually longer and even if you know how to do it this way, you'll be foolish to, to not use energy. Energy simplify things for this particular type of problem anyway. So let's have a look at energies. So take, we need a zero potential level. Take O, the point O, as the zero potential level, gravitational of course. I'm going to ignore elastic energies. There's no elastic energy in the problem. I'm going to ignore work in and work out. So that's simply kinetic energy at A plus potential energy at A 
is equal to kinetic energy at the point B, the arbitrary position plus potential energy at B. <coughs> a half mv squared. Now, the potential energy here is we are L behind, be, not behind, below the, um, the level of gravitational potential level. And therefore, it's going to be minus mgl is equal to a half mv squared. Speed there is v. And uh, again, we are below the potential level here. So minus mg. And now we want to know what's this distance here. Okay, so that's L cos theta. The M's cancel. <coughs> Got to excuse my cough as per usual. Have a little sip of my coffee, but that doesn't help. Okay, and uh, at the same time, let's double the equation. So there are standard steps for this type of problems. 2GL is equal to V squared minus 2GL cos theta. It doesn't really matter how you, you have it. Let's say V squared is equal to U squared plus 2GL cos theta minus 2GL. And... Uh, so I'll write it here, perhaps I have enough room just to write this equation. Uh, v squared is equal to U squared plus 2GL factorized cos theta minus 1. So that's an important result um, which I've just uh, derived. That is, is essentially the equation of motion in a tangential direction. And now <clears throat> we need to look at the radial direction. In the radial direction, radially, we have, of course, MA is equal to resultant F. So we're looking in this direction. MR double dot, in this direction, we have MG cos theta that is radially outwards, minus the tension. Let's put one more thing in. Minus V squared over L is equal to mg cos theta minus T. And uh, if you prefer, we can write this as minus ML V squared is equal to mg cos theta minus T. So this would have been the equation of motion in a radial direction. But now T is zero when V is 3.5, <coughs> given the problem. So um, that reduces the equation to minus M over LV squared is equal to MG cos theta minus zero. The M's will cancel, and I'm going to get in there minus 3.5 squared over L is equal to G cos theta. G, we can actually compute L. I'm going to put the L across, L cos theta, and divide by G. So 3.5 is 12.25 divided by 9.8, and that's actually not a bad number. It's 5 over 4. So L cos theta is 5 over 4. Unfortunately, we try to find L, but we don't know the cos of theta. But the cos theta we can compute. So let me just write this fact also somewhere here. Oops, not L. L cos theta is equal to minus 5 over 4. And from these results now, that and that combined, we can finish the problem. We can find the value of L because, of course, the same thing will apply to the other equation. So I'm going to say when V is 3.5, L cos theta is minus five quarters. When that is true, that is true. And of course, let's not forget U is 8.4. And this has been given, of course, to the problem from the beginning. So all of these quantities 
unknown. So I'm going to take the energy equation. V squared is equal to U squared, multiply the bracket, 2GL cos theta plus 2GL, not plus minus 2GL. And of course, now everything is just numbers there, apart from this L here, because this L, I'm going to replace it anyway with minus 5 quarters. Uh, 3.5 is equal to 8.4 squared plus 2g l cos theta is minus 5 over 4 minus 2g l l to, to, l to be found so let's put some of this number that's 12.25 i don't know what 8.4 all squared is 8.4 is um, 70.56 uh, that's going to be minus uh, 2.5 times 9.8. That is 24.5. And that's 19.6 L. So 19.6 L on the left is equal to 70.56 minus answer minus 12.25. I got the answer of 33.81. And therefore, my L divide this quantity by 19.6. Oh, it's turning out to be not a bad number. 1.725 meters. Okay, so that was the length of the string. And that was part A. Um, there's a part B in the question. That's actually a lot quicker. Calculate the vertical displacement of the particle from its initial position when the string becomes slack <coughs> let's mark the l here as well l was found to be 1.725 this is actually quite an easy problem now so i'm gonna just draw a picture to make sure we understand what is asking so if we look at the particle it was projected from here and it goes all the way somewhere up to here and then all of a sudden the string goes and it drops so Let's say this is the position when the string becomes slack. And uh, what we know, so that's L and that's L, L is asking for the vertical displacement. So it's asking for this length here, H. And this is the theta. And what we know about this theta is L cos theta is minus five quarters in this particular position. Um, so... <coughs> if you look at uh, what we've got in this particular problem, H is equal to L plus L in this particular case, L. Um, if, you, if you're confused, if I put L cos theta, let me just write this angle as pi minus theta and work with this angle, but this angle will be acute. So uh, plus L, Oh, what am I doing? L plus L cos pi minus theta. So this length plus the projection of this L onto this line. And of course, if you look at what pi minus theta is, cos pi cos theta plus sine pi sine theta. The sine of 180 is zero. That's a minus cos theta. So that is H is equal to L minus L cos theta. And the H, of course, is L and, of course, minus. L cos theta is minus 5 quarters. And L, I didn't put it in there. That's quite stupid, really, of me. So would be 1.725. And that combined was minus five quarters and therefore there if we do that is one that plus 1.25 and we will get for something like this uh 2.975 meters and that's the answer to this particular problem okay um this question was in one of my uh further mechanics paper which i only made the other day i made the point and i have mentioned several times 
um, when I do new papers now, to pick just a sample, uh, maybe three questions or something from each paper, particularly mechanics and statistics, because uh, I, have, I haven't had enough videos on this, just to help you guys with some of the setups. I hope I haven't confused you what I've done in there and you can understand what's going on a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be signing out and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.